On the job, workers and contractors are continuously using measurements and doing calculations with them. Here we'll look at a few examples. You are a contractor that installs drywall or gypsum board. A homeowner has taken some measurements and sent them to you. The homeowner only has a tape that measures in centimeters, so she has sent you the measurements in centimeters. The room is approximately 426 centimeters long, 366 centimeters wide, and 244 centimeters in height. You've checked and 4 feet by 8 feet gypsum boards of the type you want to use are selling at $13.66 each, including taxes. The owner wants an estimate of the total cost of the gypsum boards needed to cover the four walls and ceiling of the room. You can neglect any area cut out for windows and doors. In addition to the information above, you know that 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters and 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. We'll summarize the information we have here. The room dimensions are 426 centimeters by 366 centimeters and the height of the room is 244 centimeters. The gypsum board you are using comes in 4 feet by 8 foot sheets. The gypsum sheets cost $13.66 per board, including taxes. 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeters, and 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. Because the dimensions were sent in centimeters and the boards are measured in feet, the first thing to do is convert all the centimeter values to feet. We start with the length of the room, which is 426 centimeters, and we multiply by the conversion factor 1 inch per 2.54 centimeters. We set it up so that centimeters will cancel and we'll be left with inches. Next, we multiply by another conversion factor, 1 foot per 12 inches. Notice that both centimeters and inches cancel out, leaving us with the unit feet, which is the unit we want. To calculate feet, we take 426, divide it by 2.54, and divide that answer by 12. And doing this, we get 13.976 feet which can be rounded to 14 feet. We do the same conversions for width, which is 366 centimeters, and it works out to 12 feet. And the height is 244 centimeters, which works out to 8 feet. So we can list these as our dimensions in feet up here. We'll use these dimensions to make a diagram of the room showing the length, width, and height. You can see we have two longer walls that are 14 feet by 8 feet, two shorter walls that are 12 feet by 8 feet, and the ceiling which is 14 feet by 12 feet. Now we'll calculate the areas of the walls and ceiling we need to cover. The total area of the two longer walls is 14 feet times 8 feet times 2, which is 224 square feet. The total area of the shorter walls is 12 feet times 8 feet times 2, which comes out to 192 square feet. And the area of the ceiling is 12 feet times 14 feet, which comes out to 168 square feet. To get the total area we need to cover, we add all these areas up, and we get a grand total of 584 square feet. We'll make a note of this up here. Each sheet of gypsum board is 4 feet by 8 feet. So the area of one sheet is 4 feet times 8 feet, which is 32 square feet. Using this, we can create two conversion factors, 32 square feet per one sheet, or one sheet per 32 square feet. We can use the total area and the second conversion factor to estimate the number of sheets we need to buy. To calculate the number of sheets, we take 584 square feet and multiply it by the conversion factor 1 sheet per 32 square feet. We see the unit square feet will cancel, leaving us with the unit sheet. 584 divided by 32 comes out to 18.25 sheets. But because there is usually some waste and insulation, it's safest to buy 20 sheets. If a full sheet is left over after the job, 
we can return it for a refund. In our last step, we'll come up with an estimate for the cost of the gypsum board we need. We'll take 20 sheets and multiply it by a conversion factor we made from the cost per sheet, which is $13.66 per one sheet. Notice the unit sheets can be cancelled, leaving us with dollars as our final unit. 20 times 13.66 works out to 273.20. We'll round this to approximately $275. We'll reveal the whole solution on one page here. Make sure to study each step and make sure you understand it. On the job, we make a lot of use of measurements, conversion factors, and calculations using them. 